When using public key cryptography, one common problem is how clients can ensure the server is who they claim to be. A malicious body could theoretically generate a second key pair and present us with a public key, which we will be used to encrypt and send the data. Even if the data is encrypted, it can still be sent to the wrong party, who can decrypt it with their private key. You can use certificates to ensure that the client communicates with the correct server. Certificates are digital documents that bind a public key to a specific entity. Clients use them for authentication purposes. These certificates can be in various formats, but X509 is a common standard that defines a single format for protocols such as TLS. X509 certificate contains a public key and the identity of this public key belongs to it. This identity is represented by a so-called distinguished name, which uniquely identifies the entity and it consists of various attributes such as common name, organization name, and locality name, and etc. For each use case, the values for each field may differ. When we use TLS certificates for websites, the common name is filled in with the website's domain name, resulting in a certificate that binds a public key to a specific domain name. Certificates are issued by specific organizations called Certificate Authorities, which sign these certificates in order to attest the ownership of this public key to the associated entity. For instance, before signing the certificates, the Certificate Authority first verifies the identity of the party that makes the request. Certificate Authorities can issue a web certificate by asking the party to prove that they have control over the associated domain, for instance, by uploading specific content to a website served by this domain. Check out more similar videos on my channel. Thank you.